The Enchanted Forest and the Brave Little Squirrel Chapter 1 The magical forest deep in the heart of the kingdom, there was a vast and ancient forest. This was no ordinary forest, though. The trees whispered secrets, and the flowers bloomed in colors no one had ever seen before. Animals that lived there could speak to each other, and the wind carried songs that made everyone feel safe and happy. It was known as the Enchanted Forest. The people of the nearby village respected the forest and rarely ventured inside. They believed that the forest was protected by a powerful magic, ensuring that only those who were brave and kind could enter without getting lost forever. Many villagers told stories of how the forest granted wishes to those pure of heart, but no one dared test their luck, except for one little squirrel named Nibbles. Chapter 2 Nibbles Dream Nibbles was a curious little squirrel living at the edge of the enchanted forest. He had always been a dreamer, imagining adventures beyond his little home in a grand oak tree. Every day, he'd scurry up to the highest branch of his tree to look out over the forest, wondering what magic lay within. His family had warned him many times never to go too far inside. But Nibbles had always believed there was something special waiting for him in the heart of the forest. I want to find the golden acorn, Nibbles told his best friend, a wise old owl named Olive. It's said that whoever finds it will be granted one great wish. Olive hooted gently. Ah, the golden acorn. Many have tried, little one, but none have succeeded. The forest only reveals its treasures to those who are truly brave and kind. Nibbles' eyes sparkled with excitement. I'm brave. And I'm kind. I know I can do it. Chapter 3 The journey begins one crisp morning. After days of planning, Nibbles decided it was time. Armed with a small bag of nuts and a heart full of determination, he set out on his journey into the enchanted forest. The trees seemed taller and more mysterious than they had ever looked from his oak tree. As Nibbles ventured deeper into the woods, he marveled at the glowing flowers, the chirping birds, and the crystal-clear streams that sparkled like diamonds. Everything was so beautiful, yet there was a feeling in the air that he couldn't quite describe, a sense that he was being watched. Suddenly, a rustling in the bushes startled him. Out hopped a small rabbit, her fur as white as snow. Hello there, the rabbit squeaked. Are you lost? No, I'm not lost. I'm looking for the golden acorn, Nibbles replied proudly. The rabbit's eyes widened. The golden acorn? That's a dangerous quest, little squirrel. You'll need help if you hope to find it. Nibbles smiled. I'd be glad to have a friend. What's your name? I'm Luna, said the rabbit. I've lived in this forest my whole life. I know a few tricks that might help you. And so... With Luna by his side, Nibbles continued his journey. Little did he know, his adventure was about to become more difficult than he ever imagined. Chapter 4 The Trickster Fox As Nibbles and Luna traveled deeper into the forest, the trees became thicker and the path less clear. Suddenly, they came upon a fox, lounging on a large rock. His fur was the color of fiery embers, and his eyes gleamed with mischief. Well... Well, what do we have here? The fox grinned, revealing sharp teeth. A squirrel and a rabbit, far from home, I see. We're looking for the golden acorn, Luna said cautiously. The fox raised an eyebrow. Ah, the golden acorn. Everyone wants that. But do you know the way? Nibbles stepped forward bravely. Do you? The fox chuckled. I might, but nothing in this forest comes for free. If you want my help you'll have to solve a riddle. Luna and Nibbles exchanged nervous glances. We'll try, Nibbles said. The fox sat up and cleared his throat. Here's my riddle. I have keys but no locks. I have space but no room. You can enter, but you can't go outside. What am I? Nibbles scratched his head, deep in thought. Keys but no locks. Space but no room. Luna whispered. It sounds like a puzzle. Think, Nibbles. Suddenly, it clicked. A keyboard. It's a keyboard. Nibbles exclaimed. The fox's grin faded. Clever little squirrel, he muttered. Fine. I'll give you the directions. Head north until you reach the river. But be warned, the river is enchanted, and crossing it is not as simple as it seems. With that, the fox slinked away, 
disappearing into the shadows of the trees. Chapter 5 The Enchanted River Nibbles and Luna followed the fox's instructions and soon reached the river. Its waters were clear and shimmered with a magical light. But as they approached the bank, they noticed there were no bridges or stepping stones, just the wide, deep river. How are we supposed to cross? Nibbles asked. As they pondered, a soft voice echoed from the water. Only those with pure hearts may pass. Nibbles looked around but saw no one. Who said that? The river speaks, Luna whispered. I've heard stories. We have to prove we're worthy. Nibbles stepped forward and called out to the river. I am Nibbles, and I seek the golden acorn not for riches, but to help my forest family. We need the magic of the golden acorn to make sure our home stays safe and peaceful. The river was silent for a moment. Then, slowly, the waters parted, revealing a shimmering path of light across the surface. Nibbles and Luna carefully walked across, the magic of the river guiding their steps. Chapter 6 The Guardian of the Acorn After Crossing the River Nibbles and Luna found themselves in a part of the forest that was unlike any they had seen before. The trees were taller, their leaves glowing with a golden hue. In the center of a clearing stood a massive oak tree, and at its base sat the golden acorn, glowing softly in the dappled sunlight. But guarding the acorn was a creature Nibbles had never seen before. It was a large, majestic wolf with silver fur and piercing blue eyes. The wolf stood tall and proud, its gaze fixed on the two travelers. You have come far, little squirrel, the wolf said, its voice deep and powerful. But the golden acorn is not given lightly. You must answer one final question before I allow you to take it. Nibbles nodded, his heart racing. I'm ready. The wolf's eyes glowed as it asked, what is the greatest magic in all the world? Nibbles thought long and hard. He thought about the magic of the forest, the kindness of Luna, and the lessons he had learned along the way. Then, with a smile, he answered, The greatest magic in all the world is love. Love for our friends, our family, and our home. The wolf's stern expression softened into a smile. You are wise beyond your years, little one. You may take the golden acorn. With trembling paws, Nibbles approached the acorn and carefully picked it up. It was warm to the touch, and as he held it, he could feel its magic flow through him. Chapter 7 The Wish with the Golden Acorn in Hand, Nibbles and Luna returned to the heart of the forest. They had faced many challenges, but their bravery and kindness had guided them through. As they stood in the clearing where their journey had begun, Nibbles closed his eyes and made his wish. I wish for the enchanted forest to always be a safe and magical place, where all creatures can live in peace and harmony. The golden acorn glowed brightly, and a soft breeze swept through the forest, carrying with it the sound of laughter and joy. The trees seemed to sigh in contentment, and the animals of the forest gathered to celebrate the little squirrel's great achievement. Chapter 8 A New Beginning Nibbles Had Returned Home a Hero the golden acorn had not only granted his wish, but had also given him a deeper understanding of the world around him. He realized that true bravery wasn't about facing dangers, it was about doing what was right, even when it was difficult. The enchanted forest continued to thrive, its magic stronger than ever, thanks to the brave little squirrel who had ventured deep within and found the greatest treasure of all, the power of love and kindness. And so, Nibbles, Luna, and all their forest friends lived happily ever after, knowing that as long as they had each other, the magic of the forest would never fade.